Hello, my gorgeous friends. We are back today with another Christmas holiday beauty box unboxing. I believe this is my birch box, but it has come in a package that it doesn't usually come in. So let's open it up and see what we got. I'm trying to cover my address. <laughs> oh, oh! <gasps> so instead of a birch box, we got a birch bag. <laughs> birch box. Scent has a little soft, lovely birch box bag. That's pretty. Ooh, let's see what's inside. There's nothing else in the box. Be gone. This is a little more awkward to do an unboxing. Okay. Still looks like a regular birch box inside. Ready, set, glam. I like the color scheme. It's like a, a jewel toned turquoise, rose gold, and white highlight. That's nice. This month we're embracing the glitz and glamour of Christmas with a pouch. Packed with beauty treats for party season. Get ready, set, glam for big nights out. Then wind down afterwards to the December edit was specially curated with festive winter essentials in mind. So the bag definitely counts as an item. That's lovely, it feels really nice too. I won't wipe my makeup on it. Great, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's six items plus the bag. That's a beautiful holiday present. Thank you, Birchbox. As you all know from my previous videos, I have been waiting for the holiday boxes because holiday boxes seem to be when these companies show their might. So I feel like this box is sort of like my make or break for whether to stick with Birchbox or not. By the way, I did shop for Birchbox for Black Friday. I got two um, sort of mega packs um, that were 15 pound each. I got a Sand and Sky mask kit, like a sample kit for five pounds, which was good because I really wanted to buy a bunch of those samples for my friends for Christmas, but um, couldn't seem to find out where to buy them. Uh, and then I got a, a discounted um, previous box, so I believe it was from March or April of this last year, and it was only five pounds, I believe. Uh, I'll show some pictures and put the prices of what I paid. I think I paid a little more for those bundle packages than I thought I did, but the little bags will be nice to give to my nieces for Christmas, so that'll be nice. Let's go ahead and dive right in. First on top is this beautiful matching eyeshadow brush. Full size retails at four pounds. Can we do this? <laughs> the perfect partner to your palette. Oh, we got a palette. Our very own vegan and cruelty free brush can be used to add depth and definition to blend the eyeshadows together. Right, so the eyeshadow, I think this was the pick that we got to pick and I picked the more neutrally colors because the other ones were very warm and I've gotten a ton of warm, super warm palettes this year, so I wanted a more neutral tone. I'm going to test these shadows over the next few days and see if this is worth being an actual travel palette. The um, light shimmer is not quite light enough for me to do a highlight. I need a super, I'm not even wearing one today, but I need a super, super light color to be a proper eyeshadow brow bone highlight. We can do a quick little swap, swab. Swap, swatch. <laughs> so, where am I gonna do this? This is the lightest color here. So you can see, it does add a highlight to my skin tone, but I'm so light. You can't even see it unless it's directly in the light, but that's pretty nice. Okay, and the second one is a matte, of like a peachy matte. Nice blushy color. That's probably a really good mid-tone crease matte, which is nice. Okay, next we have this orangey, shimmery gold color. Mwah. That one's not very pigmented. It's more of a bronzy, goldy mid-tone shade. Not bad though, I don't hate it. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know why these boxes make my nose itch. I think it's packaging. <laughs> I 
All right, and this is a neutral matte uh, brown taupey color. Whoa, crumbly. Okay, it feels smooth, but it also crumbles a lot, so you can see probably blends pretty well. I don't know. It's not, not super impressive. And then finally we have the shimmery chocolate brown bronzy, bronzy color. That one's not too bad. Yeah, it's fine. What do you guys think? It's a pretty, like, good neutrally, neutral option to have in your collection, in your kit. What have we got? Multifunction soap sponge, mother of pearl. So that's like, um, what do you call it? A utility item, a beauty utility item? Is it soap or? Soap on the outside, sponge on the inside. <gasps> Does that sound like a perfect travel item? Let's read a little bit about it. Daily Concepts, Mother of Pearl Soap Sponge, suitable for both face and body. Two-in-one soap sponge combines a radiance-boosting cleanser and a gentle exfoliator so you can step into, skip a step in your routine, ideal for busy winter months. Wet the sponge, lather up, then rinse off. The Mother of Pearl will gently purify and boost skin's texture. Interesting. Cool. Ooh, it smells very um, soapy, like a cottony, cottony soap smell. Excellent. That sounds um, lovely, like a nice sensual experience with this, the texture of the sponge and the soap together. How fun! Okay, next we have... Do -do -do. Oh my gosh, how funny. I just got one of these in one of the Birchbox uh, kits that I bought on Black Friday. It's Polar Night Cream. I am actually using it on my hands because I have so many face oils and night creams now. Um, and I think this one is a little bit too thick for my skin. Something made me break out last week and I'm not sure what it is, but I tried so many different face oils, night creams, serums, everything last week because of Black Friday sales. I was just trying all my new face products and I think it was just too much. But this is a night cream that you put on before bed. It helps you regenerate while you're catching Z's. Uh, it's got boreal algae, which helps speed up your skin's natural renewal process. Wake up to plump, smooth, and beautiful, radiant skin. So this is a lovely quality. I've been using it on my hands. I won't even open it because then I can save it since I've already got one from my Black Friday shop. But it really smells good and it is a nice thick cream. Like I said, I've been using it on my hands before bed because I have so many creams already. But if you love this for your nightly face cream, do leave a comment down below and let us all know how you think it chalks up for your night care skin routine. Next in our little Mary Poppins bag. We oh, a totally tick, T-I-C, hydrating mask. Was it a hair mask? Deeply conditioned stress it, tresses, stressed tresses. Nice, so it is a hair mask. Um, this is a sample, it looks like it comes in a giant tub that retails for 22 pounds. No matter how thick or thin your hair is, all strands need moisture. It keeps hair soft and manageable. This is probably great for people who color their hair. I used to color my hair, uh, but now it's all natural. So it stays, even though we have hard water here, it stays in pretty good condition. But um, this is a two to three minute hair mask that you use after you shampoo just like you condition. I usually leave my conditioner on for two to three minutes anyway. I usually shave my legs while my hair conditioner is sitting in my hair, so that's pretty normal. But that sounds nice. I can't smell it <laughs> through the thing, but let us know if you've tried this and if you like it. Ooh, this is a nice sized item. Ooh. Essence Moonlighter Cushion. What? Apricot Tinge. What is that? Is it like a blush? Party season calls for shimmer and shine. 
a glow-boosting innovative highlighter that's infused with luminescent pearl powder. You know all about pearl powder from our Jeffree Star Shane Dawson documentary, don't we? Using the applicator puff or your fingers smooth onto your cheekbones, down your nose, and beneath your brows. Oh, so it's a highlighter. But it's an apricot. Like I said, I need like a white highlighter. Am I all tilted? Sorry guys. Lovely. Hello, you. That's a pretty, that's a mediocre sponge. It's already got a tint to it. <laughs> and then there's a cover on top. And then there's a film. <laughs> oh, wow. That is a strange texture. It, I don't think you can see it in the camera there, but it, it um, it's got like a mousse texture. Ooh, it's like a pad. It's like a sponge when you dip into it. Okay, interesting. Oh, it feels wet. Why does it feel wet? Oh my gosh, it is wet. Nice, so it is a proper highlighter. I definitely like my highlighter to be like super luminous, but I'm not even using the pad. That is quite nice, actually. I mean, it has a bit of a astringent smell, scent. That must be like an alcohol that keeps it kind of wet. Where else am I supposed to put it? Collarbone? Whoa! Whoa! Okay, okay. Yeah, it's good. I like it. It's very strange. I've never had a spongy, like liquidy highlighter before. That's very nice. I mean, that's all it says about it. What an interesting product. Then you close it up so that I guess that alcohol or whatever it is that's in there stays in there. Moisturizing essence. That's not a thing. <laughs> uh, I can't get the label off. I think there's more underneath and I would like to see what the ingredient is that gives it that wet feeling. Um, but that is pretty nice, isn't it? And that's, that's nice packaging. It's pretty basic, very modern, very minimalistic and sleek. There we go. Our CLE Cosmetics Moonlighter Cushion. It does look like moonlight, and I am recording this on the full moon, so perfect. Now, we have gone through six items, but there's something else left in this bag. What is it? More than just a pretty taste, Candy Kittens. Vegan, gluten-free, palm oil-free. Great. Strawberry juice, coconut water, sugar, glucose, syrup, strawberry juice, coconut water, and some stabilizers. All right, I'll try one. I don't eat a lot of processed food, but tis the season for some snacks. Oh no, oh no, oh God. Hi. I just got my nails done and I don't wanna mess them up. Candy kittens, oh, they are, they're little sweeties. That's very sweet, but I don't really eat candy anymore, so um, pretty much everything would be sweet for me. Mmm, it is tasty. If you like strawberry gummies, you'll like these. They're really good. And they did um, give us a little card. Looks like they do little holiday ornaments with them. Well, that felt like a fully rounded out birch box unbagging. <laughs> There's a little something extra that calls for indulgence. Popped a sweet treat from Candy Kittens in every box this month. Thank you, Birchbox. That was a lovely holiday gift that I purchased. <laughs> for our January sneak peek, you choose your The Beauty Crop Glow Milk. Is it more highlighters? Guys, I gotta start using my highlighters just like all over my body because I'm gonna have so many now. The good thing is I can choose the super light one. There's three to choose from. And then there's a little contest on the bottom. I would say my final 
a review of Birchbox after having subscribed now for six months is that it's a really fun box. I think it's best for younger audiences, maybe students or um, someone still trying to figure out what they like for makeup. The themes of it are just really fun and uh, feels like you're getting a little gift every month. So I think Birchbox is a perfect gift if you're looking to gift it for someone. It doesn't have the highest uh, retail price per box compared to some other beauty boxes. I have had lots of new things to try and definitely samples of things that I've never tried before and I really do like the themes that they come up with every month that makes recording the videos really fun. So do check it out. I have some changes coming up in the new year that I'm not really certain on yet so I'm not sure how long I'll be continuing Birchbox for but I think I'm all set up for January. And so, we will see you then. Happy holidays. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you have a beautiful, wonderful holiday season. Take good care of each other, and we'll see you again on our channel.